Uh, I'm talking about safety. Yes. So I'm uh, saying safety. If it is to go in through into detail on how to explain about safety, uh, some people they say safety. These are measures used to prevent accidents, to prevent uh, uh, death, even injuries. Now where? Actually, we, we, we encountered this uh, accident in our working places, many challenges in our community. Now, how can we prevent this uh, uh, accident of death? It is through following the safety rules. Among the safety rules that we can have, we even talk about uh, number one, safety attire. Safety attire, we're talking about uh, PPE. PPE, it is a, an abbreviation, a minimum term by the personal protective equipment. So there are only three P's. Uh, three P, uh, one P, na P nangu, na E. Meaning that I have my equipment when it comes back. It is not an, the heavy equipment, it is just a person where wherever you are, whatever you are doing, you need to put, to put and to protect yourself. Okay. Then the other thing is uh, to observe uh, safety rules. Safety rules, there are so many safety rules, in, especially in construction. I think we have seen some, some, some rules that can be displayed on the road. If there's a road construction somewhere, you see men at work, you see whatever, everything. Yeah. Even in, uh, in Kwambi, we normally have a lot of, uh, a lot of signs that you need to consider, okay? Now, the other most important part that you need to consider most is to understand an hazard, to see, to understand the hazard, what is an hazard. Hazard is anything that can bring about injuries or death, accidents. So whatever you have, even a stick can be the the hazard. Yeah, even the water, even the phone that you normally use is an hazard. Uh, the biggest hazard is yourself, a human being. Yeah, human being is the biggest hazard. Why say human being is the biggest hazard? Because number one, is the one who can actually set the rules. Number two, is the one who can create anything, who can make anything. You can make a tool, you can make a gun, you can make whatever. Even the vehicle is a human being. So meaning that a human being can create a hazard. Okay, or can make a hazard. The hazard that can bring death, accident, or what? Injury. Alright? So now, when you are at a um, work, workplace or maybe on site, before you do anything, first identify the what? Hazards. Okay? We are going to identify first to check around to see which one or which part can bring about injury or death. Is it maybe there's a uh, too much oil on the ground, or maybe there is too much uh, stones, too much thing that can uh, that can cause death or whatever. So before you start, try to clean the working place, the working place. You know, sometimes you can see that uh, someone who have, who have learned about safety can have knowledge and eyes and idea, but someone who doesn't learn about safety doesn't have such scenario. Eyes, ears, and what? And knowledge. Because if I say that this thing is dangerous, or maybe this cable is dangerous, it's naked, it's dangerous, don't touch. But someone who sees no more, no, it's fine. Okay? I think I've seen some people that, no, it's fine. Maybe as a driver to say, no, you are too much, you are too speed. Then the driver says, no, no, I'm not speed, I'm just okay. Why are you controlling me? Such things should because it's because that person he doesn't know the danger of that thing. Yeah. So as a plumber, it is important that number one, you understand or you know the hazards okay, around you, your area. And apart from that, you need to know now the equipment and tools. Equipment and what? Tools. When we talk about it, I'm not talking about the fridge or the stove. I'm talking about the a equipment that you normally use in plumbing, in plumbing. It might be a threading machine, it might be a grinder, it might be a compactor, it might be the, even this uh, uh, caterpillar that you normally use to, um, to, to 
excavate the trenches and whatever, those are equipment. But we have simple tools, like so. High trench, which we call bobo jam. <laughs> we have screwdrivers, uh, we have hammers, we have uh, so many tools. These tools can cause injury. Hello? If you are not care, you are not care. Therefore, in plumbing, or in safety uh, principles, we have golden rules. This golden rules we are talking about is uh, A, B, C. Only three letters to consider in safety. What does it mean, A, B, C? It's like now you are in, in, in school. A, B, C mean always, that is A, B, B, C, KF. Always be what? Be KF. That is, this is the song or the theme that you need to put in your heart each and every time. Always be careful. You need to be very careful even if you are at home. You are sleeping with your wife, your girlfriend, your girlfriend. You are working together with your friend. Whom you think maybe you trust him is a good person. And yet, that person is what? Is an enemy. Because you don't actually know what a friend is thinking about. You or others. So meaning that the human being becomes an uh, hazard, very dangerous animal. Therefore, we need to be always be what? Careful. Yeah. Don't trust anyone. You should do it only God. Yeah, because God is the one who knows hundred percent plus 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 about safety, about the health of the human being. So but when you are at work, make sure that you decide such things. Don't trust even their parents, whatever. I think I've heard that no, the parents have killed a child. This man has killed a wife. This person has done this and this and this. There are so many things. So safety is very, very important before you do anything at work. Your mind must be smart. You should not think about negative things when you are on site. Concentrate on what? On what you are doing. Otherwise, if you are not concentrating on what you are doing, find that you are working with your care, your know, health is very, very important. Yesterday we were drinking beer, and tomorrow morning we say I want to, today want to, to do the work. And yet, the beer, alcohol is still uh, moving or flowing in your head. At the end of the day, you get tired. Maybe you start giving those What will happen next? Is to sleep? Or maybe you are using a grinder, you think like the grinders, the more the grinders run, you feel very nice. Ah, you can even sleep. You forget that you are using what? A grinder that can be very dangerous. Yeah, maybe you are working on a machine. A machine which is actually making noise. You, you think like it's normal. You think like you are in the aeroplane. Or maybe on the vehicle. The vehicle is moving. You see? So such things are happening. So don't drink. Don't smoke. Why not smoke? Because you are working in the environment where there are so many people. People that don't drink and people that don't smoke. But you are smoking. The behavior of that person who is smoking, the behavior of that person who is drunk, is like uh, everything they want, they are normal. They don't even, sometimes they, they cannot be even controlled. How can, you, how can you be allowed to be working on the side and did you are, you are drunk? No. So I think I've seen some, in some areas, they even write somewhere a caution to say, no alcohol, no smoking. Yes. So, such things are there. So as a plumber, you will deal with a um, lot of issues, a eh? lot of things like currently we are using a chem course, chem course like uh, glue. This glue which is very harmful, okay? Those are toxic uh, substances that can bring about also diseases, okay? There are a lot of chemicals. So when you are dealing with the glue, make sure that you are on the open area, not in the closed area or maybe confined area because of that uh, film on your head, okay? Sometimes we deal, we deal with the pipes, plastic pipes, that can also uh, take on the harmful. Yeah, so make sure that sometimes you, 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 you cover your mouth by maybe using a, uh, a mask, mouth bags or whatever. When you're grinding, at least you put something like uh, e-plant, 
to protect your room. And I think I've seen some people who they are working on the noise place. Okay? For them to communicate what happened, to start shouting. Hey, bring that. Hey, come here. What are you what are you? As if other people are not able to get. So it is because of the noise. That noise that can affect the ears, the eyes, and the ears actually. Your ears need to be protected by putting on the goggles. Okay? The head, which is the everything, it's a driver. You need to cover the head by putting on the helmet. Especially when you're dealing with the rocks, overhead weights, where we're expecting something to fall. Yeah, so you need to protect your head, you need to protect your hands. You know, these hands are very precious because they are only two and ten fingers. If you cut one, <coughs> meaning that you, you disturb your body. So protect this by putting on gloves. Sometimes we normally put on the wetsuit and also the apron to cover the chest, to cover the stomach. Okay. So by doing so, you are protecting ourselves. Put on uh, the knee pads. Okay. You know plumbers normally, many of the time, we kneel. Okay. Even crawling when you are fixing something like a tap under the kitchen sink. You need to kneel down or you need to, to even to lay down so that you, you do it nicely. So you need to protect the apron, the the cut. Also the the, 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 what? the foot needs to be protected by putting on the safety points. Very, very important. So these things are very, very important as a plan. Okay? Then also um, avoid an unnecessary movement. When especially you're working on the on the on the, in a place where there are too much machines in the table. You are many there, but you should not have uh, do what we call horseplay, okay? Practical jokes, where people are jumping here and there, um, you know, playing like Chimbuya, Patan versus Bemba, Lozi versus Tongas, and so on and so forth. So such things, when you're in the workshop, you need to minimize, okay? Yeah. Then uh, you need to be sober. You need to be sober. What I mean so by that, yes, you need to control your temper. I know there are so many people who are that temper, but you know, I'm a fast. So I don't want people, like someone to disturb you with all that you say, no, I'm doing. So some things you need to have also to, to study a group of people. Okay? A group of people. So this is the thing that you need to understand or to talk about, especially when you show safety. So thank you very much. Uh, unless if there's a question.